This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Joining the United Head football coach Mark Farley after the Panthers opened the season at Big 12 opponent Iowa State. The Cyclones got the win 42-24. Coach, your Panthers' first offensive possession, though, they drive the field, eight plays, and they put points on the board. We did. I thought we were prepared. We did a, we did a great job of changing things up and got them off balance and, and went down the field and converted screens and passes and runs. And uh, I was excited to see how we came out and the, and the focus that we had. A touchdown pass to redshirt freshman Isaiah Weston, uh, a big target down in the red zone. He came up with some big catches in the game. He did. He was our leading receiver that day. Yeah, I believe he had four catches for close to 80 yards on the, on the day. So, you know, he went toe to toe with an Alan Lazard who had eight catches for 100 yards. So it was when you look at the comparisons and then you look at senior versus freshman, you know, you look forward to what uh, Isaiah possibly could become. After that opening drive for a touchdown, uh, the Panther offense turned it over twice. Two interceptions, both pick sixes turned into points for Iowa State. After that, did it seem as though they had momentum? Because it looked like the Panthers were still playing pretty tough. We were playing tough, but what it did was, whether you call it momentum or what, what you call it, we lost our we lost our, our energy, uh, went with those two, two intercepts. I mean, it wasn't that we weren't playing poorly, it was just that you've got to play this game with a lot of emotion to play at a high level, and I thought we lost that edge. The defense allowed just one scoring drive in that entire first half. Just kind of talk about their first 30 minutes of that game. I thought we did good. I, you know, it was it was good enough to, you know, to get us in that position, but I, we didn't get a turnover, we didn't get a sack. There's things that you have to do better to continue your, your season, but but in that position, I thought we were playing good defense against a, what I felt was an excellent offense because the receivers were uh, as good as we're going to play this year. And the, uh, the difference, I believe, was the running back. He really ran hard. Coach, you had a redshirt freshman, Alfonso Lambert, uh, register 10 tackles uh, in that football game. Just kind of talk about him and what you saw out of him in the season opener. Well, he, it was, there was a lot of redshirt freshmen that played. Isaiah Weston, Alfonso Lambert, Isaiah Nimmers. Uh, I mean, uh, Nikolai, I mean, we had, when I looked at the roster on some of these things before we walked, when I was going down the field and going, we're playing a lot of redshirt freshmen today. But that's the excitement of the whole thing, too, is because they did so well. And Alfonso, of course, had the 10 tackles, which was very productive. But, you know, he's in a position that we, we hope that he only continues to get better. All the linebackers had to be flying all over the field. Jared Farley had a team high 14 tackles. Uh, yeah, Duncan Furch came up with an interception. I think he was third on the team in tackles as well. Yeah, we, we, we did a good job overall. I mean, we held them to just over 100 yards rushing and kept their, you know, they were averaging about 600 yards offense that we held to 300 and some. So all those things were good, but the, the stats are irrelevant when it comes down to how to make that win, and that's just how important turnovers are to a game. What did you see out of the defense in that second half uh, as they were trying to keep their team in a spot uh, within scoring, to, uh, within striking distance? Yeah, well, there, that, that's when you felt the momentum. You kind of felt like you were, you were strained because you were, you were climbing uphill and they were running downhill on you a little bit with the, with the energy. So that's where we really had to uh, show our character of, of, of durability and, and, and were we going to sustain that or, and, and come back around. And I thought we did. It, you know, how, we, how we went through the fourth quarter, that was a big check for me. And I thought we did well in the fourth quarter and then we scored as well. All right, playing in a big-time environment, too, in Jack Trice Stadium at Iowa State. We'll have more on that game and a preview of this coming game against Cal Poly coming up with Coach right here on Panther Sports Talk.